who's gonna go on and who's gonna fall. Um. Well, holy smokes! Wait. Um, I predict probably Area 51 to take it because they've actually they're a pretty solid team. We've actually scrimmed them quite a bit. Um, and they they've actually beaten us on a few a few maps, I believe. So I'm gonna predict Area 51 probably around 16 to 16 to 11. Okay, and our producer for this matchup is XPZ. He actually produced 16 13. Um, okay. But yeah, so man, I'll look at the ones in chat and we'll call those out while we go here. Uh, but thanks again for being here, Minica. We're actually going to go live here, guys. Area 51's roster, I'm sure you know it and love it. Steno, Disciple, Nitro, Rush, and Noswall. And for Mythic, Lightworker, K-Shark, Abe, Lex, and uh, what is that? One our cube? Uh, maybe that's a name I'm just not familiar with. Robbie. Uh, well, yeah, thank you. We'll go with Robbie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so looks like we're going to have a banana strap push-up. Three actually waiting for them. Aggressive coming up. Noswall and H-Trade. Back and forth they go. Mythic will get the upper hand, getting three versus their two. So a two on three, they'll get access to the B side. And it's going to be a 1-1 one, one split rotate here uh, for Area 51 to try and hold off and retake B. That was uh, a great two kill by Lex. I completely agree. Disciple coming from the bana from Banana. Nitro coming CT spawn. And they're going to try and work into the site here. Uh, three members of Mythic, obviously, in the back. One spool side. Uh, one secret, I believe. And it looks like a bit of an exchange. I just lagged there a moment. Bomb still taken away. Actually, Nitro looked like a mid-air shot on K-Shark. But Abe and Lex will clean up. Lex with three kills that round. But Mythic will get the upper hand to start and nab the pistol round. That was a great round by Mythic. Um, I think Area 51, Noswall, he actually pushed maybe a little too deep. He literally just rushed down Banana instead of kind of, kind of holding. I think if he would have held, they probably would have gotten that round. But just didn't really work out. Well, Area 51 is going to be on the save. Uh, pretty much looks like pistol of choice for them. They're going to set up 3A, 2B. And Mythic going to go all mid mainly. One delaying mid. I mean, this is somewhat typical for uh, any team that wins a pistol on T side. is just going to hang back. Uh, Abe, though, with a bit of aggression in mid, finds Steno on left mid towards Arch side. Gets the pick there to start it out. So it's going to be four on five. Bomb is with uh, Robbie. So keep that in mind as the round progresses here. Uh, they've only, for Mythic, they've only got one banana. The rest of them are still kind of split amongst A and middle, uh, but they could easily go to either side at this point. Area 51 still has two committed to B. Uh, looks like they might try and push banana here. As Rush peeks out, finds one, just pokes a few times and falls back. Lightworker's the one waiting passive banana. You gotta remember, Area, Area 51 just literally full bought out. So they are looking to win this round. Um, I don't really agree with Steno playing aggressive, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, I didn't even catch that. I do apologize. Banana push as they go up here to the left. Lightworker's going to find one. And I don't know why this lag keeps hitting me for some reason. Uh, but Lex actually finds one with the P90. Gets another one. Area 51 zones Nitro is able to answer back before Lightworker can take him out. And there drops Disciple. So Area 51, and as the buyout that you called that I failed to catch, uh, did not pay off. And they'll fall down two rounds now, two to nothing. Like, it's good to buy out, like, second round. It just depends on what you're going to do with it. Like, if, I mean, Steno easily gets picked at the beginning of the round, put your, down, put your team down four versus five, that's no good. I mean, you just got to communicate with your team on what you're doing on eco round so you can set up a crossfire or a great setup. They chose not to do that. And this round, obviously, set up Noswald appears a full save for Area 51. They really have any other choice. Abe with again a pick from that same spot in alternative middle, finding Nitro this time left mid. As they do have two B and two left A. I just, you know, kind of splitting it up as they save this round. Noswell working with that CZ75 and Banana not able to connect. Bombs dropped uh, back behind apartments in that alleyway behind team middle. Uh, so they're still kind of working picks. Robbie finding Disciple on right side towards Boiler. Lightworker's going to run into a few here. Takes out Noswell quickly. And now that's going to make it a two on five. Mythic with complete control here is they're going to take bomb up banana slowly. Obviously, Area 51 is going to have to split here. Now, if you're in this instance rush, I mean, what is the best call? Try and hold them off, play aggressive, play back. I guess delay as much as possible until Steno can help. And it looks like they're going to make some contact. Probably take some Steno. Yeah, Robbie and Abe clean up. Yeah, I mean that really was the best crossfire. I was I was glad to see at least that he rotated around in time before that, and even before they deployed the smoke. Yeah, um, really nothing you could do there. It's just kind of like try to get a kill here and there, and move on to the next, the first gun round of the half. So.
All right, well, it's 3 nothing Mythic. Fourth round upcoming, obviously. Gun round for both teams. Uh, Mythic's been there, done that, but now they've got full AKs. Uh, no ops for either team. Nobody wants to dance around middle or uh, push up banana with that sucker. But again, again, in, in main, I assume everyone's shot so nice and on point that you really don't need it in a map like this. Yeah, true. If you look at Mythic's buys, they have two mollies. I would say they're probably going to try to take control of A for a little bit, and then they're going to fall back and to B and they're gonna like so they're gonna probably do a B take um, just because of the stuff they have and Robbie takes out Noswell or Lawson at the start right, of the round. Right through yeah right through the car so already down a man area 51 and a three round deficit it's definitely not the note they wanted to start the round on but they're gonna quickly rotate at least and one outside B towards CT spawn and Mythic obviously with a one man advantage here just kind of doing their thing still working picks two in apartments bomb is alternative middle and they've pretty much just split across the map and are waiting for that call. Robbie finding Steno now, getting the pick B. So that's going to cause even more rotation from Area 51, and it's going to open up A if they decide to commit to it. The two banana could easily fold in and go back to mid. It's just a matter of if Mythic wants to, to commit to A or not. Here comes a smoke and big pit. Lex is going to rotate back to Boiler, and it looks like they're going to take uh, Boiler to middle. So no, actually to Arch side. Yeah, they're going to split straight up. Probably collapse on B then, I take it, with the two banana. Yep, yep, it looks like uh, Nitro's in the library who's going to be to their right, so it looks like Abe's going to find him there, but will fall. Nitro gets the kill. Three on four, and Nitro nearly gets a second. Drops Lex down to 9 HP, but Lightworker takes down Rush. They will plant in B, and Lex is standing in between at least one of the rotations uh, from Area 51. Does Disciple comes, Banana takes down Robbie. It's going to be two on three. Nitro takes down Lex. And all of a sudden, it's going to be up to Lightworker and Cave Shark to hold off this two-on-two -two push from Area 51. Nitro is still CT spawn, and it looks like actually they're going to go ahead and fall back save. and save. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm uh, to be honest, I'm a little surprised by that with the time they had. Uh, so am I. I think uh, like Mythic should have probably won that round, probably single-handedly, but they started to maybe a little bit of a throw. Uh, they kind of got stuck out. Like one person was on like the CT spawn, like little awning. Um, probably shouldn't have been there, probably should have just like literally went with the team, secured like everything in B, but uh, I'm actually kind of shocked by that save, to be honest. Yeah, I am too, and not to say that I have the credentials to make comments like this, but I was a little uh, startled by the uh, the one after the other uh, focus on library once Nitro was posted up there that cost him too. Yeah. Uh, but either way, fifth round, Area 51 did manage to save. Uh, this round, however, obviously you see the Disciple and Nitro are the ones with the hardware. The rest of them, uh, Rush, the only one with a CZ75, is they're going to just do a 3-2 defensive setup. Nothing too too fancy against Mythic's uh, kind of passive-aggressive movement in, on Inferno. They just kind of push one end and, and let the others sit back and rotate accordingly. Bomb's going to be dropped all mid. So yeah, one twenty. Go ahead, sir. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. Um, so both, both guns are an A. I would assume that Mythic's probably going to go to B, um, just because they've been kind of going B a lot. I don't think they're going to take a chance at A because there's too many spots to check. There's not really too many spots to check in B, and uh, I mean they have a Molly, they have three smokes. Robbie's actually dinked to five. Nitro takes down Abe. Yeah, Nitro with a nice pick from right side mid on Abe. Abe has been working mid with success, but that time not so much. Falls short. So, Area 51, though they're, you know, really on somewhat of a partial save here, minus what they've been able to save last round and pick up, um, definitely getting a good start here as Abe's dropped and Robbie's down to 6 HP at this point, but they do look, like you said, uh, focusing on B at this point. This could be a crucial round. As Robbie's going to lead the way into B with that 6 HP, already getting taken out from Rush. Lex answers back in the exchange. Lightworker finds Noswall in the back of sight towards secret they will get into b but the three from area 51 are quickly rotating through ct spawn one's going to go construction and actually two construction the other one main from ct spawn to b uh, but as we dance back and forth here both these teams trying to get one getting in one trying to hold it a 1-1 one -one exchange going back and forth but lightworker and k shark are the last two to get on the board disciple was the last one to fall for area 51 and still they have yet to be able to find their way onto the scoreboard now down five to nothing like, that should have been Area 51's round. Uh, I think the guy that was back emo uh, in the back of who it was, he just kept peeking too much. I think if he would have just hid and delayed for his team, Area 51 probably should have got that round. They knew exactly where they were going. 
Um, just, just too much peaks. And Mythic did a great job of trading instantly. Whenever Lex died from backhaul, the guy triple instantly traded that kill to, uh, you know, make it a one versus three or whatever. Um, so it's just, it's great trading by Mythic and just poor team play by Area 51. Well, this time, Area 51 kind of mixed it up a bit with an aggressive stance banana. That kind of just collapsed on Mythic, forced them to kind of go alternative middle and, yeah, obviously working mid and trying to keep some kind of foothold on team mid steps. But now uh, Lawson's waiting for them banana. Uh, so he's going to get spammed out a bit, but nothing connects. So he's going to just kind of return fire. Actually drops Lightworker down to 49. Uh, but Mythic is starting to get some kind of hold in apartments. Uh, looks like they will try and at least dance A or get a few picks and even rotate back mid to B. And Lawson's going to be the only one there waiting for them. Because they do have two posted up at team mid steps. And they've got plenty of, well, about 40 seconds. Still enough time to, to completely go back and collapse on B if they absolutely have to. Uh, but instead, they're going to be committing to A, and Rush is going to be finding them. Actually, Steno getting a kill. K-Shark and Robbie answering back for Mythic before Nitro can find Robbie. And back and forth they go. Lex finding Disciple. So now 2 right on 3 him. Yeah. And now he'll go for the plant. Uh, but we've got a... Looks like 2 on 3. Bomb planted default in A. Lex apartments. And Nitro on the flank. Yeah, Nitro coming up behind. Lex takes him down. He's getting into the site. Getting another. K-Shark will fall. Only one left standing. And it's going to be Abe sitting in the back corner. And Lawson finds him. Great retake. And obviously, uh, Nitro's positioning there coming through apartments is what did the job. Finding two quick kills and putting the last member of Mythic in a real tight spot. Area 51 will finally find themselves on the board. 1-5 to five is your score. It, it honestly looked like Mythic was going to have that round, and then Nitro just kind of, I mean, I don't know how they did not kill him lane. Uh, just really couldn't find him through the smoke and just did a great job of, you know, staying calm and going halls and then getting, you know, getting a nice 2k. So, I think it was it was kind of unlucky by Mythic, but it's a great round for Area 51. They really needed this round, and they really need this round too. If they lose this round, they're going to be broke and they're going to have to save. So, this is a big round. Yeah, both teams kind of financially restricted here, but obviously with a with a full round lead, Mythic wouldn't mind having to uh, choke down Nico if they absolutely had to. Robbie, though, starting it off, taking down Rush, and now it's going to be four on five, and and Lawson actually has dropped down to thirty, so they're doing some work on him as well. Bombs team mid, keep that in mind. You've got two there, and the rest are working alt mid in apartment. Um, some passive, some aggressive. Abe, really the one leading the way. He's been doing a lot of work middle, regardless if it's going through window room or apartments. He's definitely tried to get a pick here and there whenever he could. And with 50 seconds left, Mythic is going to dance in apartments even more. Uh, Disciple's the one watching it. Looks like he might drop the big pit. Lightworker finding Lawson. Oh boy. Lex getting Nitro. And once again, Mythic getting the upper hand later in this round. We've seen it once, twice, three times. And this is how they've secured such a lead. Uh, but Bomb's going to go arch side A. They're going to be collapsing on, it looks like, uh, I would hope the A side with 30 seconds to go. One waiting arch side for them to cross. Disciple finding K-Shark. Steno getting A from arches before Robbie can take down Disciple. So Steno's going to be the last one coming out of arches with 73 HP. That Molly's going to fall right behind him. And here he comes into the side, aggressive as ever, trying to get a pick, but he won't. Robbie gets the kill. Mythic with the round. 6-1 your score. I think Lawson and the... Uh... Who's I think Lawson and Rush. I think they're playing too aggressive B. Like they know it's not working. Like they've been dying a few rounds here and there. But like with if you're that low on money, I know like some teams like they're like yeah yeah let's like try to catch them off guard. But like just play back, play safe. Like you know make them come to you. You're on the defensive side. Make them come plant the bomb. And they just I don't know. Like, it's just it's just not working out what they want to do. And uh, it's you know it's great. Great work by Mythic to understand to get those picks. Yeah, they're definitely having a great T side. Speaking of which, Abe finding Steno. Area 51 is on the save, obviously. A few CZ 75s across Nitro Rush and Lawson all holding them. Uh, but we've got a 5 on 4 with 114 left. Lawson answering back, taking down Lightworker. Uh, so there is hope for this eco as Lawson will go ahead and pick up that AK. 
Bomb is going to the A side, though. As you can see, they're coming up alternative middle, so the four remaining members of Mythic more than likely will be committing to A. They're just going to split this defense in half, probably go right side, maybe one left to just try and eliminate the rotation. But Disciple will find one. Nitro gets one from Boiler, and Abe is the only one to be able to try and answer back to kind of kill that snowball effect that Area 51 was picking up there. But three on two as K-Shark's finding a rush there. As Lawson will find Abe, it's just back and forth. These teams are crazy once they start firing away. Way. Everyone peeks out and just makes a mess. Uh, but K Shark's going to go for the plant behind main box inside. It's going to be two on one, as you can see on his screen. Finding Disciple one on oh two, my. and K Shark with 12 HP gets the round. What a clutch! And Area 51 knows they should have had that round. That was huge by K Shark. Uh, honestly, I really don't know what to say. Area 51, that should have been another round that they should have won, and then. Um, just kind of played that not smart. They they really didn't turtle up. They didn't really play passive and just it's just super unlucky um, It just seems like mythic is just having everything go their way apparently right now then honestly area 51 They're just not very they're just not playing very smart and it's costly But let's see if they can turn it around. Also with a great pick though yeah, Lightworker dropped early on in the round. We've got a 125 to go obviously mythic down one member this round as Lightworker fell early, so four on five, bombs team mid, the rest of them, alternative middle and apartments. Which, I, I don't know if it's simply just because Area 51 started playing Banana a bit aggressive and they just didn't want to risk it or it's just due to their success at A, um, but Banana's kind of been an afterthought for Mythic. They just kind of work everything out, middle and alternative mid and apartments to start work picks and then just kind of make a decision. I think now that Area 51 knows that Lightwork is the only one playing B, at the start, they're going to start playing a little bit of aggressive. Or, I mean, they've been playing aggressive every round, but now they're just they're starting to get that pick now. So it's it's been it's been huge for them at the you know at the early rounds. Um, now they just got to they just, honestly all they have to do is just turtle up now, just make them come to them. If they don't and start peaking and playing aggressive and start losing picks, then Mythic's probably going to take the round. Well, they're going to be making effort into B here, Lawson and Ruck. The are the only ones to be able to hold them off, excuse me, as they walk into the side. Robbie opening up on Rush, getting a pick there. And that's going to leave it just up to Lawson, who won't be able to find one. So two members of Area 51 unable to get a kill as Mythic will take the side. And it's going to cause Area 51's last three remaining members, Seno, Disciple, and Nitro, to try and retake. Nitro, though, finding one as he comes up from mid. But it looks like, based off them not rotating Banana, that they're just going to go ahead and save. As I also see Steno just fall back from the B site as they'll go ahead and save their AK and M4. So Mythic will have a seven round lead going into the ninth round. And this definitely goes uh, quite in the opposite direction of a lot of the predictions that I saw in both chat and from us. It's, it's very surprising to see Mythic, not saying they're not talented, but to have this kind of a lead on T side of Inferno. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's kind of... It's kind of weird to see. Mythic's just literally playing great. Um, I, I know a little bit about, about Mythic. I know they practice a little bit, but I, I mean, Area 51, they've been practicing quite a bit, and I just, Area 51 is just not playing up to their ability to play, and they're just letting Mythic kind of run, run with it. So they're going to push down B again here. Yeah, I think. This time. Mythic's but, gonna go for a fast day. Yeah, and I I wonder if they're gonna go full out. No, it looks like they're gonna come just do a 3 2 split, two out boiler, two, three apartments. Action's gonna start here real quick. Disciple opening up for big pick, two big kills, three kills in fact, a hat trick before and Nitro fourth. will fall from Robbie and four, possibly the ace. K Shark's the last one standing, and Disciple with the ace to put Area 51 back on the board. That's gotta help them, and a great hold from Disciple and A. Wow. That was a big round, like, I'm pretty sure Mythic had flashes, but they just decided not to throw any of them. I don't know why. I think if a guy came out boiler and then flashed over into pit, I think it would have been a totally different round, but that was a great round by Disciple, hitting his shots and, uh, and doing what he does. It was a great round. That's got to at least lift the spirits of Area 51, who's still down six. But either way, obviously, they can do the work when they just synchronize correctly. And, and I don't know at that time if it was like you said, just how Mythic took it. 
And they, they didn't really throw any flashes to try and get entryway. They just kind of just bum rushed it, but it cost them. And Disciple looked great in the process. Robbie, though, with a nice stack on the flower pot there in team mid, finds Lawson trying to push up Banana. Um, so once again, Area 51 finds themselves down a man early on in the round. And Disciple with a nice flick shot on Lex from Apartment. So we'll even it out four on four. Uh, now, Miniker, if you were Mythic, what would you do with their current setup to try and make sure Area 51 doesn't get a run going here? I'd probably try to go rap because you know one's going to be lane or big pit. And you know, I think Mythic knows B is weak and Area 51 knows their B is weak as well. Um, I would try to carefully go rap or send a fake to draw that, uh, that rotator to B, which he's kind of in the middle. It looks like they're actually going to try to go rap. Um, and they're actually going to try to go split to B. So, and there's two at B, so we'll see what happens here. They have the right idea. Yeah, um, even Lightwalker. Got, yeah, everyone just got spans this one. Yeah, Nitro found the early kills. They were trying to go arch side mid, but a nice exchange rush finding a kill for Area 51. Lightworker answering back. In fact, getting another kill, taking down Steno. So they're going to go ahead and plant towards Spools. And uh, it's going to be two on two. Disciple and Nitro have a great opportunity here to keep the run going. Disciple's already banana with 50 HP. Nitro on the CT side. Looks like towards Truck as they're going to walk in. Now they've got a member of Mythic on each side of the bomb side here. One on the far left hiding in, in between and one... Uh, in grass or construction, depending on which way you want to point the finger. Robbie will find Disciple. Nitro gets the nice kill, turning directly around to try and get to take him out. So now one on one, he will fake defuse, and now be forced to defuse. And Lightworker is going to pop out, get the kill, and they will get the round. Mythic now with a nine to two lead. That was a great setup by Mythic. All Robbie had to do was just get one kill, and he did his job. And then he let just left it down to a one v one. Which is, I mean, perfectly, that's what my team would have done as well. Um, all Robbie had to do was just get one kill, and he did. Um, Steno kind of whiffed on that shot uh, for the two guys' sight. Um, and that kind of really, that really cost them the round right there. So we'll see if they can regroup and, and try to make something happen on the eco. It looks like they're going to full save, full save, or they have CZs, but we'll see what happens. Well, winning an eco would definitely help their spirits for the, the rest of, of this first half. Uh, to Banana, Rush, and Lawson there. Lightworker, the one, again, always Banana, as you stated. Uh, just kind of working around with that red line AK. With a minute left in the round, all five still up for both teams here in the 12th. Mythic, again, as you can see, seven round lead on the T side of Inferno. So Area 51 saving would really love to pick this up and try and get a few additional rounds before this half is out. And Lightworker's going to creep up. Banana checks Sandbags to his left. They're going to peek here in just a moment. They almost got him off guard. And keep it behind him. In fact, more Banana. And as I was blinded, three big kills for Area 51. Nos or Rossi getting one. Rush finding two, and it's going to be two on five, and Lex is down to 11 HP. So what a great aggressive peak by Area 51 and Banana, and this eco round is looking better and better as time goes on. Rush with another kill. It's one on five. I do not see an ace for Lex, but it could happen. No, Rush with another kill, and Area 51 getting that vital eco uh, going into the 13th round, now only down six. Yeah, that was a, I mean... I was just going to point out, like, Mythic sh probably should go B because they're a little scared of A because, honestly, a Eco's on A Inferno, or the bombsite A. It's just there's so many spots to check and there's so many setups that CTs can do. And Mythic just got caught out. Um, the CZs are just, they're way too strong um, if you know how to use it. And uh, Rush did a great job of doing that. Um, so, I mean, it, that was, that's a huge round. Now Mythic is forced to save. I don't know if you'll appreciate it as much as Mega Man did, but I compared the CZ75 to the noisy cricket in Men in Black 1. That little pistol <laughs> that Will Smith carried. I thought it was a nice match. Uh, oh, but man. we've got Mythic on the save, lining up. Disciple knocks him over like dominoes, and they're already down two members as they're going to go ahead and throw them all atop on balcony. One is inside, however. Disciple picks him up, too. Are we looking for a second ace? No, Rush will steal it, grabbing one. Lawson finding the last one, being Abe. And Area 51 getting back into this thing now, 4-9. Still with a five-round lead. Mythic looks to try and... Uh, clean up these last two rounds. I wonder if they're gonna buy here though. It looks like they could save and just try and get the last one and make it 10-5. Um, 
I feel like, yeah, it looks like they're gonna full out buy. Um, just pistols and one smoke, two smokes. Um, honestly, I think they'll probably do a. They'll probably try to do a uh, an A take um, with the two smokes. They'll probably throw a couple truck smokes and um, try to jump into big pit and plant. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. But this is these next two rounds can literally decide the match uh, if Steno goes down. Dead drops in from Abe Disciple though. With the Galil doing some work, finding one kill, two kills, takes down Lex, make it three. No, Rush takes it from behind, still a good flank. And Area 51 just collapses on middle around Mythic as four of them are caught off, or two of them caught off guard with their backs turned to Rush. Uh, but the last one is actually in Banana, that's going to be Lightworker. Surprise, surprise to find him in Banana with a CZ75. He's got 50 seconds left. At the very least, he could take one or two out and just make it a, a, a decent eco for them uh, to put Area 51 in, in a slight bind going into the, into the last round of the half. But it kind of depends on who he picks. They still got some decent money on the board. Disciples got nearly 6K. Nitro in that same position. It doesn't start falling off until you get to Rush and Lawson as they're down to about 3.5K or less. Um, like, um, Mythic, I mean, they got the first pick. They got Steno at the beginning of the round. I don't really agree with what they did next. They literally instantly just started to push mid. Um, if they would have fell back there and like used their two smokes, I literally think they would have had a chance of getting that round. But um, I guess just like whenever you get that first pick, you you kind of want to just rush and try to get get some more because you know some are going to be there. But uh, great team play by Area 51. Um, whoever threw that Molly to mid to help uh, disciple and uh, Lawson. That was, that, was, that was crucial. Yeah, I, I, after they got that pick so early, I definitely saw that round going a, a, a different way, but quickly yep. it kind of folded in on Mythic. Uh, but guns in hand, they're going to be going out to the mana. And Lawson's going to have to try and hold off them all. He'll only get one, but it's still one. Better than nothing. K Shark getting a kill on Lawson. And that trade, Lex finding a rush. And now they're going to go for the plant, and we've got the rotation already there. Nitro getting a kill in construction. It's going to leave Lightworker to have to kind of wrap around. In fact, he's going to try and lurk on Spool for them to peek. Steno and Nitro are both there. Lightworker finds one, leaving just Steno, who's already at 62. Uh, the last member of Area 51 is coming from CT Spawn, and that's Disciple with the op, or the M4, excuse me. Uh, Steno's got the op construction. Disciple does find Lightworker, however. K-Shark grabs him and will also take out Steno from that back left corner, so your first half score is going to be Mythic 10 and Area or Area 51 Gaming 5. It's uh, definitely not we had, what we had predicted uh, going into this one. Definitely not. I think, honestly, I think Area 51 just played so bad on their CT side. Like, they just kept pushing, they kept playing an aggro B, and sometimes, like, I mean, if you can't understand that whenever you're, you're, you've been losing consecutive rounds, then, I mean, it's just, they're just not thinking. Like if if they would just felt if they would just fall back, let them try to plant the bomb, let them come towards them, and they uh, they just feel like aggro is their best chance to win, and apparently not. Uh, so it's it's looking it's an uphill battle for Area 51 right now. So um, should be this is a crucial pistol. So let's see what happens. Well, we always try and explain how important the pistol round is, but like you said, crucial, vital, a necessity. Either way, Area 51 needs to grab it. If you just joined us, thanks for tuning into RGN. My name's Bishop. Alongside me with our invite inside is Miniker. And Mythic, obviously, K-Shark, Robbie, Lightworker, Lex, and Abe. And on Area 51, we've got Disciple, Nitro, Rush, Lawson, and Steno. So keep that in mind, though. I'm sure you're pretty familiar with the rosters this late in the postseason. Uh, but regardless, Area 51 has to really pick this up to uh, make it... Well, I guess less stressful for, for them because Mythic uh, has been doing an excellent job at execution and Area 51 can't afford to fall down two more rounds and have to climb all the way back up to try and win this one. Uh, so they're taking their pistol pretty slowly, but they are committing to A by the looks of it. A lot of apartments, one middle. Robbie opens up with a kill, and Nitro will get a trade. A finding one as well for Mythic, so back and forth. It's going to be three Area 51 versus four Mythic as they try and take the A side. Lex, though, slows them down with a kill. A doing the same thing. Nitro, the last one alive, 65 HP for Area 51 and Pit. This is not the pistol round they wanted, and Nitro doing all he can to try and turn this around as Bomb is down off the corner there, and he's got three of Mythic just waiting on every corner for him 
and they're not wanting to overdo it or give him an opportunity to cut corners and, and el eliminate them one by one as he tries to get over to Truck and peek towards Speedway. He'll get a peek here, nearly gets the kill. Lightworker got dropped down to five, and he's going to take this opportunity to run to the side with the first. Gets knocked down to 16. Will it be enough? No. Lex gets the kill. And it, what, Area 51's worst nightmare here, Mythic, gets the pistol and now is going to go up six with a possible eight-round lead before Area 51 can buy. I like what Area 51 did for the pistol round, but like if you saw Disciple throw his flashes over the you know the roof to pit, Area 51 was so far back in the halls. Like by the time Mythic gets unblind, they're gonna be able to shoot Area 51 whenever they come out. Um, Area 51 just was not grouped up at the end of halls, ready to go. Uh, so I think that was a little miscommunication. Um, so that, that's just that's that's a terrible round to lose. Um, and Mythic, honestly, they're just they're hitting their shots like every single one of them. Uh, so it's just, it's just a great round by Mythic. So we'll see what Area 51 can do. You can see a couple P250s, a CZ, and I think they're probably going to try to rush wrap here. Well, I'm I'm really actually really liking Mythic's setup. Uh, they're going to go hard side now. Lex was waiting for it with the P90, but Stena will take him down. So a nice 1 1 trade to start it off for Area 51. They've got a little less than a minute left here. Uh, Bomb actually waiting out apartments, so they do plan on wrapping A. Robbie will take down Rush. Uh, so in this 4 on 3, with Nitro having Bomb in apartments, they are pretty much committed to A unless they want to try and sell a fake B and hope that Mythic will rotate. Uh, we've got Steno and CT spawn. Lightworker sees him with a FAMAS back towards B as they're going to have a bit of a firefight here with 30 seconds to go. Nitro really still waiting for Mythic to just leave and concede A so he can at least get the plan, but Mythic is not going anywhere. And uh, at this rate, Nitro is going to be walking out into a couple of crosshairs if his team can't get any kills. And Disciple and Senna will fall, so this really comes down to Nitro. They're actually going to rotate out of A, so it did work. He will at least get the ball. Almost the plan A turned around, heard him get off the balcony, and they will not get the plant, which they desperately needed. 12-5 in favor of Mythic at this point. Yeah, I mean, it almost went bad for Mythic. Um, Lightworker tried to get in a little 1v1 battle with Stino whenever Stino had a P90. If Lightworker would have died there... Um, that round could have been so much different. All Mythic had to do was just turtle up, which they uh, they did at the start of the end of the round. And, um, they played that well. They didn't try to chase kills, which is obviously a bad thing to do, and that's how you lose rounds. Um, so, um, congratulations to Mythic on playing a great round. Area 51. I mean, it was an eco. It's not not too worried. Uh, but they they got to start stringing some rounds together or it's going to be bad news. Yeah, they have moments of greatness and then they just seem to be rolling down a hill. And Robbie with the P90 getting some work done on our side. Middle getting two kills. Abe getting one himself on Lawson. Obviously, Area 51 saving. This isn't his important round, but they'd still like to get a kill or two. Abe will fall for Mythic, so there's one. They did get the bomb planted. I didn't even see it happen. Disciple must have came out of apartments. So they will get that money that they so desperately needed as the, as the only person on their team that had really any dough was, I believe, Nitro with 3.4. That bomb plant put them all above 5K, and now they can try and start climbing up this hill down eight rounds and mythic obviously has everything together and has been executing beautifully so let's see what area 51 can do to answer back yeah i mean robbie has a great score he's 19 4 and 11 not really putting the team on his back but he's getting those crucial kills getting some ecos um getting that money up with the p90 um disciple and nitro are doing all that they can Steno's not really having a great match uh Area 51 really, really needs this round, or it's it could be a loss, and then they're going to be out of playoffs. Mythic actually did an aggressive push middle that time, smoking it out. Area 51 waiting. Senna was on window. Balcony there takes down Ape, who peaked from Boiler's side on the stairwell. Robbie gets a kill before uh, Lawson can answer. So a lot of action there in a very short amount of time, but uh, in a nutshell, four on two. K-Shark and Lightwork are the last ones standing for Mythic to keep the, their momentum going. And Area 51 is in a pretty good position. They've got a full minute to work this round out, and only two of Mythic to defend this entire map, both of which committed to A. 
So if they only knew to just simply turn around and go B, it would kind of increase their odds. But instead, they very well may try and run into A. I think they're sending them, those two B to try and either get a pick or fake it. Uh, but that fake isn't going to fool anybody. Because I believe the two members of Mythic are going to wait there till they hear Bomb is planted. Wow, this is pretty gnarly to see. Hopefully they start rotating back because what's-his-name is in B. Um, Disciples all the way in B. Oh, gonna they're go gonna lane. commit. Wow. wow. K Shark getting it. Uh, bomb is still up. They're actually out of time. They've got to get in there. Lightworker is going to be waiting for him. He should be able to successfully eliminate that plant through the smoke. He does. K Shark gets a kill. And this round that was going so well for Area 51 is turned into a nightmare as it's just Disciple and Lightworker with four seconds left. Lightworker just conceding out a running back mid to ult mid. He'll get the round but not the kill disciple. Well, obviously not gaining any, any lettuce that round, but at least stays alive to keep his gun, but a round that could have easily gone to Area 51 had they just run B. Uh, instead, get, goes to Mythic uh, with a beautiful play from Lightworker uh, and uh, the other member who I'm, for some reason, forgetting. I believe it was K-Shark in A, just being yep. patient, waiting them out. I think, I mean, Area 51 just, again, just not playing very smart. Like, I would have sent someone into B just to see if two were there or one was there, and then just send the other three A, but, I mean, I, I still believe that they still had time to fall back to B with 28 seconds left. Um, just chose to kind of go for it, and it just it didn't work out. That was just poor, poor communication by Area 51, and um, they're paying for it. It's 14-5, to 5 and it looks like this could be Mythic's match. Well, they're two rounds away from getting into the finals. Area 51 has quite, uh, I know I've used it before, and I'll probably say it 200 more times until this is over, but an uphill battle ahead of them. Uh, with a minute left, still, obviously, all five standing for both teams. Lawson is an alternative mid, drops bomb. So uh, they've got 1B, 4 position A, split amongst middle and apartments. And Lex is actually going to be arch side middle with the op. And he'll open it up, takes down Nitro, who peaked Boiler. So uh, there's already one down. That much closer to a big W here. Lex with another kill, possibly three. No, he'll miss that one and get sprayed down from Rush. Is able to come from right side mid and get a kill before Rush can exchange on him as well. So it's going to be three on two. You've got Rush with 73 and Disciple with 52 in A side. They do have one waiting for them. It's probably Deci or, uh, Robbie in Apartments. I was thinking Disciple for some reason there, but obviously he's on T side as he'll spam their default. They did not plant the bomb there. Uh, so it's going to be a three on two. And Disciple will find one. Rush actually picks off Robbie. Here's some momentum for Area 51 as it's just K Shark. Now, K Shark's made them pay before uh, in the same spot, but the roles have been reversed. He'll actually find one inside. It's going to leave Disciple in apartment. He'll peek out, get go for behind, wow. and get the kill. K Shark was uh, probably half a second away from getting a headshot there and defusing, uh, but instead, Area 51 will pick up the round and make it 14 to 6. Yeah, I mean, that was that was kind of a back and forth round. Um, I don't really agree with Robbie spamming trying to get the planner there. I think if he would have waited and just kind of chilled for a little bit, um, they, Mythic probably would have won that round. But um, I understand the spam. It just sometimes you got to know when to do it and when not to. And uh, he chose time to do it when he did not need to. Um, that was a great, great, like little back and forth trade, trade kills. Um, of Area 51, so let's see if they can build some momentum. I would not have been a surprise last round if K-Shark would have clutched that he made them pay an A already one time by himself, and I wouldn't be surprised to see it twice, but uh, fortunately for Area 51's sake, they've cut the deficit to 8 now. Uh, Mythic obviously on the save. This would be just ever so devastating if they fell to an eco by Mythic. Uh, it would really seal the deal as they are just literally busted in terms of money if they lose this one. But with about a minute left, uh, Bomb still team mid. Uh, what do you think Area 51's direction is here, Miniker? I mean, if you look at uh, Mythic, they have five five sevens. Um, Area 51 has, you know, Molly... Like four smokes. I think they're gonna. Well, Steno gets a pick on Lex. I think they're gonna try to just pick out A and see what happens. Um, and and just kind of go from there. They're all gonna try to bunch up, and now they're gonna try to rush towards B to see what happens. And Lightworker and uh, K Shark are waiting. So let's see what happens here. Well, into the B side they go. Rush leading away from school side with bomb. The rest of the team there. 
K Shark unable to connect. Steno will give him light worker though. Does find one and two kills. It's now a one-on-one -on -one in the B site. And Steno will win that battle. Gets the kill with the AK. He'll get the plan. CT's already rotated though. Abe gets the kill from CT spawn, and it's gonna be all up to Nitro as time expires. I didn't even know that there was that yeah, little time left, left in the round. Wow. Uh, That's just Oh god, they poor Area 51. I feel so bad for these guys right now. Area 51 is just not playing up to their capabilities right now. They are playing so sluggish, and they're just... I, I feel like it's just miscommunication. Like, they got a pick, and then, like, they kind of... They... Some of them decided to, hey, let's go up middle, and then some of them decided to ha hang back. And it just wasn't... They're just not all on the same page right now, and it's, it's literally costing them the match. And Lux gets a, a really early pick on Rush. Coming up. Well, this is it, folks. If Mythic wins this one, Area 51's done for the season. Mythic will go on to the finals in Maine. However, they still need to get that last round. And considering Area 51's already down a man, and, and one of their members only has a P250, uh, and based off the current score, odds are Mythic will grab this round. But we'll see if Area 51 has any fight left in him. Lex with another kill. Two kills in this very important round for Area 51. And as they stacked in middle, it's going to make it that much harder for Area 51 to try and get any foothold in A. Steno literally had a grenade just fall into his boot, so he's going to backtrack with that Galil sum uh, with 50 sec 56 seconds to go. And they're going to come up banana, but two are going to be waiting for them. Both. Uh, and Nightworker still has a smoke. Yep, yeah, and K Shark sitting there. That smoke's deployed. Good call. K Shark sitting on the left side by the little stairwell to the platform of the B side. So 39 seconds left, and Area 51 is really put between a rock and a hard place here. They they have to have this round. Lawson making something happen, and A getting a pick. It does cause a rotation, and they're gonna walk in to be here momentarily. K Shark waiting for them. They know his position. Can they get the kill? K Shark gets one. Disciple will answer back in the exchange. That should at least get him the plant. And Lawson will not be able to find a second kill. So it's one on two for all the marbles here. Lightworker and Abe coming CT spawn and Disciple the only one to prevent them from moving on to the finals here. Disciple will peak and get dropped. Mythic has done it. It will be 16-6. Uh, our predictions were way off. Area f obviously surprised by the, the results of this matchup, but Mythic definitely played well and, and deserved this win. Wow. I mean, that literally shocked the heck out of me. I mean, we've played Area 51, my team, uh, OEF. We've actually played Area 51 on Inferno, and I mean, it, it's been close. It's been like 16 to 13, I think. And that's just, that's just a shame. They just did not play uh, the way that they're supposed to be playing. And it was good that last round. Lex got two picks, and then their whole team decided to fall back and stop playing aggressive. That's what every sing every single team should do. Um, if you get early picks, literally just turtle up in sight, wait for them to come to you, and that's what Mythic did, and they won the match. I'm still in shock by that. So, Area 51 will fall. They are, they are done for the season. Mythic will go on to play SK, I believe, in the finals. I'm trying to see, just to double check here. I think it's SK. Out. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, 16-6, the final score. Mythic obviously winning. Uh, I, I just don't know if Area 51 really had that off of a night or if Mythic's just that good on Inferno. I mean, honestly, I don't... Like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna bash Mythic. They actually played a great game. Like, they were all on the same page. They communicated, um, and they knew exactly what to do and when to do it. And... Um, I'm not going to knock their play. I think Area 51 just had a bad match. Steno didn't do, do that well. And I think Area 51 was just all, they were uh, all scattered. Like, I don't think they really had the setups that they needed to do. They kept pushing B. They kept pushing for that to work, and it did not work. And uh, it cost them a lot of rounds. Like, they were down like 8-1. They just, they just kept giving up picks at the beginning of the round. And, uh, I mean, honestly, it reminds me of my team. We get picked all the time, and we get crushed because of it. And that's what happened to Area 51 tonight. Yeah, I mean, they just could not get a gun around early on uh, to save the, at least winning one anyway, to try and uh, cut into the momentum that uh, Mythic was building. And it just it stacked and stacked and stacked, and they just created a deficit that Area 51, or, or a hole that Area 51 couldn't climb out of. 
Yeah, I mean, it was... That's just that's a rough match for Area 51, and we'll see what, what happens. Maybe they'll make a roster change for next season. Who knows? But, uh, I mean, congratulations to Mythic for playing a great match, and um, it's, you know, maybe they're just that good on Inferno. Who knows? I guess. I will definitely look forward to watching uh, SK and Mythic go at it in the finals. Uh, for those that didn't catch it in chat, if you still have it in full screen mode, it is going to be on June 12th, I believe, is when I saw posted on the bracket is when that finals match will take place. Uh, Minikur, do you have anything you'd like to say to the audience in terms of where they can find your channel if they want to catch your stream or any shout-outs you may have? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I would just like to give a shout-out to our organization, OEF. It's called Open Equal Free. It... Um it's an organization that helps bring literacy to third world countries. And if you want to find me on my Twitch, uh, it's twitch.tv forward slash miniker. And um, I love to chat it up with you guys. It was awesome doing this. I This is my first time actually Martin doing this. Um, so it was actually very interesting. Uh, I got to actually see from an outsider's perspective on how a match uh, kind of is played out, even though I watch a lot of matches. It's just, it's fun to cast. It's fun to, you know, hang out with you guys and, and chat it up. Yeah, and I don't even play anymore. All I do is play-by-play, play, so I, I was very grateful <laughs> for you to be able to, to to join me and cover this matchup. And speaking of that matchup, we actually have uh, one of the winners in here, uh, K-Shark from Mythic. Uh, congratulations on the win. How does it feel to be in the finals? Thanks, dude. It uh, feels great, man. We were, uh, we were really upset about that losing on Nuke last week, so we really needed this one. Absolutely, and I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and say it now. The uh, round you had in the first half in a well done, if you <laughs> recall, you. I think it was a one on two or one on three clutch. Me and and Minnick are both were just like, and that did not go as planned. <laughs> Thanks, dude. That's awesome, yeah, I, man. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I he actually they actually dinked me like when I was on the uncrouch, and I was like, oh man, I'm about to I'm about to get railed, and then like <laughs> I don't know I don't know what happened there. You were you were just sitting behind the box. You had one above. Someone had high ground on you. The other one was flanking around the left, and they both just stood there and let you just take their their heads right off. We were quite confused, but I mean, it was great shots. Though. I mean, it wasn't like they just stood there and let you just treat it like a you know practice range. Yeah, as soon as I got dinked, I thought it was over. But <laughs> yeah, that was that was extremely lucky for me. Uh, now, my, my my first question, and maybe by all means follow up if you have anything after this. Uh, that we, we did predictions before this started, and I'm not going to say any names, but the, the predictions were close, but they weren't necessarily in your team's favor. Uh, I think you did more than, I would probably say that you at least surprised half of the community that, that watched this game, um, probably more than half in the margin of victory that your team had. Uh, what, I mean, have you, during practice for this match, have you had that much success on Inferno? Is it one of your team's stronger maps, or were you just all on point, like absolute point tonight? Um, that was a combination of things. Uh, for one, Inferno is probably one of our stronger maps. Um, but Area 51, I, it doesn't really surprise me. People thought we were going to lose Area 51. They're Obviously, they're an amazing team. Like We play them all the time. They are... Legends at 1.6, Disciples of Legends of Source, like they're, they've been around the game. We know just how good they are. We, uh, we prepare just as much as we could. Um, they're definitely not a 16 6 team. Uh, I want to say that we just performed really well, but I, I think anybody could see that they were just having a, a pretty off night um, in general. There was a couple rounds where I think we won because the, the time ran out. And I mean, that's, that's not something characteristic of them. And I know they, they, they seem like they're just having an off night. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, when the time ran out, I didn't even see it coming, and I'm supposed to be the guy that, that uh, knows every detail when I'm just ranting. <laughs> but I was just like, he's going to fall back, and what? The round expired? So not something you'd see from a main team or uh, even an intermediate team, but I guess when you're, I would say when you're down that many rounds and you're focusing so intently on trying to do everything correctly, I, I guess you could be a little absent-minded in terms of how far into the round you are. But, uh, yeah, and guys, feel free to type questions in, in chat again. We have K-Shark. Uh, for Mythic, obviously, they're going to be in the finals against SK for the rematch on Dust 2. Uh, Miniker, do you have anything, man? Uh, no, I think I'm good. I mean, just congratulations on the map. You guys played really, really well. Um, and just teamwork was excellent. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah, um, 
wish we could say that about Nuke, but Inferno is probably one of our better maps. Like it is last week on our uh, on our Nuke, that was that was pretty bad. <laughs> we we understand that, but Inferno is a map we we're really confident about. We feel like we have a a pretty solid amount of teamwork. We feel like we were able to work off each other well on that, and uh, that's actually. Uh, a map that we've been doing. We've played that map about ten times in the season f- through ESCA and Sevo. So uh, it's definitely a map we've had a lot more practice on than anything else. Well, it definitely showed. You you all had great execution. I was extremely impressed. And I've, I mean, no disrespect. To, I've I've been out of the scene for like nine years. So I just came back to cast it. I'm starting to pick up on <laughs> what teams are around, who's successful, who's not. Um, I'm not really seeing any chat. I mean, we've got a lot of Miniker fans in uh, chat as history mended when he came over here to do invite insight for us. And um, the only question they've given us, and you can answer it if you want or not, is who is the best looking CS player in your opinion? And if you want to skip that, you can skip it, and I won't be offended whatsoever, and we can move on to the next thing. Uh, my teammate Lex would say Miniker. Okay, there we go. That, that'll uh, please the fans that are hanging in here, because it was just abs or riot for about an hour in chat. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Um, let's see here. Um, a buddy of mine, Voodoo TV, uh, his, his name's actually Kenny, he asks, uh, who's the in-game leader for your team? Uh, I was calling. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Spider925 asks, is it difficult playing with... Uh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> Spider. Is it difficult playing with fins? Do you think you would play better with hands? Nicely done. I actually get that, get that question asked more often than you would think. It's very difficult, but I, I make do. Well, you sound very uh, well-mannered for a shark. Thank you. You're welcome. It's like Finding Nemo. Um, all right, well, let me see if there's any other questions, man. I appreciate you just kind of bearing with me here as chat just kind of drops down. Yeah, you're uh, good. Um, Arshake asks, if you could make 60 grand a year playing CS for the rest of your life, would you do it? Uh, if I got to play with my team, I would. You can, it's it's too it's a hard very to play. loyal answer. It's too hard to play this game with a bunch of people that you're not friends with, and like that's why I think a lot of teams kind of just at by the end of the season they do one and done. You know, like we're really fortunate that we stuck together the entire season because we just actually enjoy really playing with each other. So I mean, if that would be cool, but it would really depend on who I'm playing with. I mean, I can say that my my little because I'm 26 now, but I used to play just as active as anybody back in the day. My uh, overhyped mediocrity of a CS career, uh, I've never been able to rekindle it specifically because of that. If I'm not playing with friends, I just don't want to play. Yeah, that's and, huge. And and I don't know if it's just simply because IRCs disappeared or just this huge new generation of players, but it's just impossible to try and build new relationships because there's just so much history within CS. Yeah, it's very difficult. It, everything. It seems like a lot of Finding a team is just networking. It's you know a lot of it's who you know. If you're friends with people, I mean, uh, there's a lot of people who are probably pretty good at the game who have a hard time finding a team just because. I mean, a lot of it's just you got to find the people who are more dedicated. Because I mean, you know, things like shots and things, those you can work on those. But a lot of it is just pick, finding a team, a group of players you enjoy playing with, and really putting in time to get better. Well, let me ask you this: If you are, are so committed to the group of guys that you play with, uh, I mean, aside of finals, win or lose, what are your what are your goals for your team? What would you like to achieve before uh, you guys hang them up and, and go on with your lives, or or even continue playing under a different brand if that if that came to pass? Um, we're hoping to make invite this season uh, with Premier coming out. I don't know how likely that is, but um, I mean, the overall goal is to make invite. Uh, we want to start attending more lands. We were we were talking about attending this Vegas land coming up um, and over the summer. So we've been talking about some upcoming lands that we want to attend together, and it's pretty much it, man. Just attend lands and make invite. Awesome. Well, uh, I can just say from me to you, I wish you the best of luck in the finals. Again, congratulations on the uh, great win you guys had tonight. Uh, I was extremely impressed. Uh, before you go, I mean, do, do any of you guys stream? Do you want to do any shout-outs? Thanks to... Uh, friends, family, loved ones, anything? Yeah, uh, Lex, Robbie, and Abe all have streams set up. I need to get that set up. My my internet's kind of awful. Uh, shout outs, shout out to Brumsy. Uh, shout out to my buddy Zord. 
Uh, he's like back up on our team. Uh, shout out to everybody who believed in us in this match. We appreciate it, guys. And I appreciate you guys for casting it. Thank you. Uh, you're, you're very, very welcome. welcome. It was a pleasure. A pleasure. And best of luck, and I'll probably be casting the finals, so if you win that, we'll bring you right back in here. <laughs> appreciate you, man. Not a problem. You have a good night. Thank you, y'all too. Thanks. All right, everybody. Well, that's our show for tonight. Thanks again for tuning in to RGN TV. My name is Bishop. Invite Insight was brought to you by Miniker tonight. Uh, all of Miniker's uh, friends, fans from his channel that decided to join us for this matchup, thank you so much for your time and, and uh, interaction and chat. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, Miniker, you got any final words, buddy? Uh, no, I just thanks for having me. It was a blast. I mean, I would love to do it again. Um, just don't take my viewers. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't have nah. your abs, man. You don't got to worry about that. <laughs> it was actually, it was really fun. I enjoyed it. Um, and thanks for everyone that's tuned, that tuned in. And um, yeah, I'm sure I'll see you guys soon on the stream. I will have to add you on Steam so I can invite you back because uh, we try and stream as, as much as possible. And, and I'm going to ask the first time you did this, man. You did a fantastic job. I appreciate it. I hope I didn't too do too bad for the fans and you guys um so yeah i mean it, it was fun i liked it a lot all right everybody well again this has been rgn tv thank you all for watching uh the finals are going to be coming up on the 12th i'm sure we're going to have some other playoff action for you and other uh divisions throughout the week as, as time progresses again this broadcast was brought to you by edgegameservers.com uh, please check them out for all your server needs they have servers in all regions of the united states and even i believe france and germany there is no excuse to not check out their website speaking of no excuses if you have not hit the follow button while you've been here i hate you not really but please do it uh if you've subscribed tonight thank you so much for your support uh, believe me every penny helps us increase the quality of our stream uh, the frequency of when we cover games it just helps the whole program um, it's not something that uh, our uh, chief media officer David is simply gonna pocket and go to the bar with and brag about it to us in our next meeting on Friday it literally just goes to the whole brand to help us uh, progress and be able to give you guys a better product every time we come on air uh, but again for those that tuned in supported us followed thank you so much my name is Bishop I'll see you all again soon. Have a good night.